When I was pregnant with Brody, I had a perfectly healthy pregnancy. It wasn't until Brody was born that we knew something was wrong. Um, he was tentatively diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, um, which means muscle weakness. Get one more big swing in. Go around really fast. Really fast. Really fast. Go, Brody, go. When I was trying to decide if Brody should continue in preschool, I thought maybe three years of preschool would be best for him. And right after meeting Alanda, I knew that he needed to get into her program. He needed to be with her, and she was just gonna do leaps and bounds with him. You gotta give people our time, Brody, I'm telling you. He on her toes. Oh, your arm is stuck. Get it out. I teach students who have the most significant disabilities in our district. Since I am an elementary teacher, I have the, the privilege of getting to know all the preschoolers that come up. And so um, I was informed about the possibility of getting a new student who was in our preschool program. And when I found out about him, I actually had some concerns. What I found out when I started working with Brody is immediately he started to respond to things as I was teaching him. And I'm like, oh my gosh, did you just see that? Did you just see that? And so I think that was my aha with Brody. You know, I started signing just spontaneously. Do you want more? Do you want a book? Do you want to eat? And then pretty soon he starts imitating me and starts trying to make the signs and trying to move his hands in a way that I was moving my hands. And so instantly I knew he is following directions. He is modeling, he's learning. The nurses that are with Brody are kind of like an extension of my, my hands and you know his health care procedures that need to be done are just done simultaneously. We don't have to stop instruction. We just keep on going because if we stopped, we may never get to a lot of instruction, you know. So we just keep doing it. We just do what we do. The nurses do what they do and Brody's able to learn. Mrs. Krause, you know, she knows Brody just you know, she's been with him for years. His relationship with her is just, you know, more than a teacher almost. Like, it's like family. Just little things, not just, it's not just the academic. She goes above that. It's the academic, it's the physical, it's, it's a full circle. She, she does it all. She's amazing. Amazing. And now he's using a communication device and he can answer those questions so easily and he can, he's able to move his body more so that he can tell us yes and no. His choice of words with this communication device is just so cool. You know, he can, he almost memorizes where the areas are. So he's not looking at it, but he's listening and sometimes he's going so fast. You're not even, I'm like, how do you even know where that's at, you know? What were you, were you doing music, jukebox? Well. I'll get it for you. One second. The teachers and I work very close in making sure that it's a very um, warm and welcoming environment and teach the students how to best learn how to interact with him and how to be a good friend to him. In second grade, they, they were given their wheelchair driver's license, so now they're all experts at driving and pushing his chair. I think Brody's time in um, class with all of his friends has really opened the door for him as well because he's able to see what's going on in class and build friendships and since he is someone that likes to imitate, um, he's learning through watching and hearing and um, being a part of the class and building that community. I remember when he was following directions with his feet and with his hands and I'm like you know I think this kid could drive a power chair and um, everybody thought I was crazy and I'm like no I you know he follows left right he can he can do this it gives him freedom this is his chance to go and explore the world like he hasn't been able to explore it I think sometimes he's just ready for the adult to go away and to just be with his friends
it just, it is, it's an experience to know him. I was just hoping people would see Brody for how I see Brody, because if everybody saw Brody how I see Brody, there'd be no question about why he's at school or the importance of all of his learning that he's doing, because they would see what I see. Come here, Brody. Brody, over here, Brody, come on, Brody.